What's up YouTube, it's Robo back again with another quick video. This is really to help people that have NVIDIA GPUs uh, either in their desktop or in their laptop because a lot of people recently have had a ton of issues uh, with NVIDIA, with their most recent drivers uh, and just their cards in general are having problems. So this should help a vast majority of you. Uh, this, this tends to be one of the biggest problems uh, with drivers is that people don't uh, really uninstall everything. They don't clear out everything before reinstalling the new driver. So that causes a lot of issues. So this is just a quick way to really uh, get your drivers back up and running and your computer uh, running at the way it should be really when you first got it. So this is Display Driver Uninstaller. Uh, this is the first thing you want to download. Whenever you try to update from NVIDIA's uh, drivers, download this. Make sure it's the most recent version. All you have to do is go to Google, search DDU Display Driver Uninstaller. It's the very first link. Guru 3D, I'll have it in the description as well. You click on this, it brings you to here. You just scroll down until you find all these links and it's always the very bottom link. It's whatever version has the highest number. So this one's 15.7.55. You just click this, it'll download it for you. It takes a couple seconds and then it instantly starts downloading. Once you get that going, it'll be right down here in a zip folder. Uh, if you have, if you don't have anything that can unzip it, it's built into Windows, but if you don't have anything else, just use 7-Zip or use WinRAR. Uh, they both work for that. But you just come in here, show all in folder, right click on this, click extract to uh, whatever folder you want to extract it to. And then it's going to come up with these two things, guru3d.com, which is just the website link, uh, and then the .exe. So you double click the .exe, it then runs this. It needs to extract it somewhere, so you have it extracted to whatever folder you're currently using. And then it'll pop up with display driver uninstaller.exe, uh, .config, and a .pdb. You need all these files in here, so don't don't move any of these. Just keep it all in the same folder. Uh, and then just all you have to do is run display driver uninstaller. Get that going. This will pop up right here. You just want to launch it in normal mode. You can do it in safe mode or safe mode with networking, but I've always done it in normal mode, never had an issue. Then you just hit launch. This will pop up, it'll detect your GPU, it'll tell you what, what you're using, what version of Windows you're using. A GPU right down here, right now I'm running a 680. And you select, if you wanna see this done on AMD, all you have to do, come down and select AMD. It also works for Intel, but right now I'm just showing NVIDIA. Uh, then you click clean and restart. So what this does is it'll delete, it, it'll uninstall the old driver and get rid of all the registry files, all the extra files that NVIDIA puts into your computer to make the driver work. It'll clear all that out and then reboot your computer. When you reboot, you'll then have uh, no other display driver that's installed. You'll probably be running the Intel display driver or whichever one that you have uh, installed from your uh, CPU. So once you get that, then you want to run the regular driver to reinstall uh, the NVIDIA driver. But first, make sure you use this to clean out your computer. It'll make sure it gets rid of all the old files and make sure that all that junk is cleared out before you install the new driver. So once you get that, you know, uninstall it, clean it all up. Then you want to go to NVIDIA's website. Don't use GeForce Experience. It's terrible. Uh, it really, all it does is it downloads the drivers for you. Uh, which is sometimes nice, but I tend to go to NVIDIA's website myself and do it all myself because it just, it, it tends to work better. I've never had issues from NVIDIA's website when I have had issues from GeForce Experience. So what you do is you go to NVIDIA.com, go to drivers, and then whichever driver you use, uh, I use GeForce, so I'm gonna go to GeForce drivers. Then go down to manual driver search, and you wanna select your uh, series and then your specific model and then select whatever version of Windows you're using. I'm using Windows 10 64-bit, and then you hit Start Search. Then this will go and search for all the drivers that have been used for your GPU uh, in the past, as well as the current version. The current version is the very top one. You just click on that, and then click Agree and Download. So this is for the 364.72 driver. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't have any issues with this. A lot of people are saying it works perfectly fine. If you find yourself having problems with this driver, all you have to do is go to NVIDIA.com once again, but instead of going to GeForce, go to all NVIDIA drivers, then scroll down to beta and older drivers, and then search again for your GPU, 600, 680 series for me, hit search, and this will find all the very old drivers. This one goes, this one goes all the way back till April, 2015. And I found that the most stable driver that I had was the 362 driver back in March 1st. Uh, and also the 
355.60, I believe, right here. The August 13th driver was very stable. I remember that one, it worked perfectly fine. So if you're having issues with the current 364.72, I suggest downgrading to 362 or down to 355.60. So all you have to do is click on those and download it just like the other drivers. Uh, and then when you use the display driver uninstaller, you reboot, come back, reinstall uh, using this file right here that you download. Right there, it'll tell you the name of it or the, the version of the driver. And once you install that, you should be good to go and not have any more problems. But once uh, you get this display driver downloaded, you can go to your C drive, then go to NVIDIA display driver, let this launch, and once you see this pop up, it is going to check your system for compatibility. But what you want to make sure that you want to do is go in and select clean installation. Make sure that you don't reinstall this on top of anything else, any other settings. Uh, but when you get to here, express versus custom, always, always, always select custom. Go to, go to custom, hit next. Make sure everything is checked and click perform a clean installation. This is one of the most important steps you can do right here. What this will do is it'll uh, revert all your settings back to default, which was what all the settings that you had in the NVIDIA uh, control panel over here, NVIDIA control panel is uh, settings that you specifically changed. Now, if you have specific settings for a game, you might not want to do this, but I recommend doing this for everybody. And then whenever a game you had before, you can go back and re-change it back to what you had before. This just makes sure that every setting that is being put onto the computer with NVIDIA is the default settings and makes sure that it runs it at uh, default compatible settings. So this should fix any problems you have with NVIDIA. Let me know if you have any other specific problems down in the comments down below and I'll try to help you out. I know a lot of people have very different uh, results when it comes down to NVIDIA drivers, but if you have success, let me know again in the comments down below. Give this video a like and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys.